Right, okay, so in the previous uh, video, what we looked at was expanding things like um, a plus two times a plus three, for example. Um, what I want to do in this video is really show you how we could make this harder and what the sort of harder version of this would be. So if I adjust this slightly, um, let's have a look at um, a negative example. So we've got a plus two, uh, and we'll do a minus five. So here we've got negatives, but what, we, what we're gonna do is just follow the same process as always. So we're gonna put a plus two here. We're gonna put a minus five here. So again, remember the last video, we constructed a rectangle like this. Okay, and we just asked ourselves, okay, you know, what's gonna go inside here? Well, and we decided that this must be a times a, so this was a squared, okay? Notice, by the way, that this actually is a square. This is an a by a square. Okay, so the rest of these are, are rectangles. This in the corner is, is actually a square. It's a a square, a squared. Uh, this one here would be um, a times two, which would be two a. And this is where we just need to be careful. If we're thinking of this is a negative five, then what we're doing is negative five times a, which is negative five a. Okay. So just be just be conscious of that. And here again, we're going to have minus five times two, which is going to be negative 10. So think about how we're, you know, we're now introducing negatives. Uh, you know, as a quick recap, if you've got a, a, a negative number times a positive number, that's going to give you a negative answer. OK, uh, the other rule is that a negative times a negative will give you a positive answer. So we'll see an example like that in a second. The final step is still the same. We're still going to write this out as a squared plus 2a. But now, instead of saying plus 5a, we're going to write take 5a because it's a negative and instead of writing plus 10 we're going to say take 10. So I hope you can see there um, you know exactly you know what's the same and what's different we've just got a negative involved this time and so that's had a, an effect on the answers in the box and so that's had an effect on on the answer here and again you can still simplify 2a take 5a, okay, well, it's actually going to be negative 3a. And that minus 10 is still there. Again, if you're just a bit confused with where 3a has come from, if, you're, if you think of a number line, if you start at 2 and you go down 5, you're going to get to minus three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so two take five is negative three, uh, which is why two a take five a is negative three a. So this would be your answer to this question. Okay, so we'll have a look at, um, you know, a different one. So we'll just wipe this clean. Okay, so let's have a look at this question here. Let's do um, 2a minus 3, and then we'll do um, minus 3a plus 2. Okay, so let's write this out. 2a minus 3 minus 3 plus 2, minus 3a plus 2. OK, so again, we're going to use these rules that we have. Negative times a positive is negative. A negative times a negative is positive. OK, so we've got 2a times minus 3a. Negative and a positive make a negative. 2 times 3 is 6. a times a is a squared. Notice how I did that in three stages, and that's useful, I think. You know, 
think to yourself, is it positive or is it negative? It's negative. What's the number going to be? Two times three is six. What's the algebraic letter going to be? A times A is A squared. Let's do the same here. We've got, uh, we can think of this as minus three times minus three A. A minus and a minus, two negatives multiplied to make a positive. Three times three is nine. And there's only the one A. OK, this one is two times two A. A positive times a positive is positive. Two times two is four. And there's only the one A. Here we've got two times negative three. A positive times a negative is negative. Two times three is six. And there is no A term here, so that's your answer. Again, let's write this out. Six A squared. Uh, sorry, negative 6a squared plus 9a plus 4a take 6. And we can simplify that, uh, you know, by doing 9a plus 4a is going to be 13a. And that would be the final answer there. So those are two examples just to show you how negatives would work here. And the answer really is they work the same way. Just write a negative instead of a positive. And just remember these two rules. If you can do that, you'll be able to do even the most fiendish negative questions. I want to end with one final thing. And what I'm going to show you now is, is National 5 level. So if you're feeling a little bit unconf uh, you know, not super confident with this, um, then don't worry too much. Consider this next part of the video to be sort of optional um, at this stage. But I'm going to I'm going to throw this out here just for those of you who, who kind of want to see where we're building to. A, a national five question would look like this. You might have three a minus two, and then you might have something like four um, a plus two b minus uh, three. So that that could come straight out of a nat five a national five paper. And if you've really followed what we've done, you might feel like you're ready to, to actually answer this question or have a, a vague idea of where this is going to go. For this question, I'm going to write this down the side. And this, you'll notice that there's not two terms. There are one, two, three terms. And so what I'm going to do is this. So it's three terms and two terms. And notice how, you know, I've got two terms here. I've got three, oh, I've got three terms here. And I end up with a a two by three rectangle and I end up with six boxes. So two times three gives me six boxes. You know, you can imagine if there was four terms in here, I could, you know, I could do this quite easily, couldn't I? Yeah. So say that was say there was an extra plus something, I could easily add that on there. You see how it goes on and on. Um, but for this question, I've got two terms and three terms. So I'm going to draw a two by three rectangle. And again, you might get a sense for how you would do this. 3a times 4a would be 12a squared. Again, pause if this goes too quickly. Just check that you're happy that this is 12a squared. OK, 3a times 2b, 3 times 2 is 6. a times b is ab. And again, it's positive times positive. Uh, 3 times negative 3 is minus 9, and then we've got an A. Minus 2 times 4, A is negative 8A. Minus 2 times uh, 2B. Minus 2 times minus 3, would that be positive in this case? And again, we can write this out. 
I'm just adding them all together, or in the case of the negatives, but you can see it just becomes a subtraction. Um, I'm just going to write this over two lines here just because I'm running out of space. And what we'll do is we'll just consider the like terms. There's only one a squared term, so I'm going to write 12 a squared. There's only one a b term, so I'm going to write 6 a b. Uh, I'll use a different colour here. There are two a terms, minus 9a, minus 8a. So I'm just going to combine those together to get minus 17a. There's only one b term, and there's only one constant term. Okay, a constant term would just, in this context, it just means um, a term without a letter attached to it. Uh, and this is my answer. I've just, I've written this in a different colour just to highlight this, but this is your final answer. And again, that's a National 5 question. Um, so well done if you followed, you know, completely followed all of that. Um, uh, but, you know, you can see how we've taken the two brackets. You can see how this would extend uh, further and further.